Founded in 1920 by Mother Mary Teresa Tallon, parish visitors of Mary Immaculate fulfill the thirst in the heart of Christ to seek out and bring home to the church the lost sheep. Jesus came to earth because of the immortality of souls. He showed zeal for all souls, but especially for the poor and for children. If we were not immortal, and all poor neglected little ones as well, there would be no need for our vocation. But every soul has a great destiny. It is personal union with God. We are women who have heard the call of Jesus to live for God alone. Ours is not merely the unusual religious vocation, for it emphasizes and unites the contemplative and unity of life with the missionary apostolate. Since our foundation, parish visitors have visited cities, towns, villages, and countrysides, knocking on doors in the spirit of the new evangelization to bring the joy of the gospel to those who have forgotten the beauty of God's love. Lives are changed through the ministry of our sisters. Mother Mary Teresa's inspiration was for her sisters to be the bridge between the pastor and his flock. The parish is the field of each sister's missionary efforts, working in close collaboration with the parish priest. As missionaries in the midst of the parish, we serve God through our person-to-person -person visitation with families. As catechists, we make the faith lovable by our teaching, whether in classes, youth ministry, campus ministry, or to those we meet on the way. No place is beyond our reach. Nursing homes, hospitals, jails, anywhere Jesus' love needs to be known. It is this passion for Jesus and His people which brings each parish visitor to consecrate her entire life to God by her profession of the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience. As a bride of Christ, she is a spiritual mother, bringing to birth the life of Christ in all those she meets. Daily, we strive to live faithfully and joyfully our consecrated lives. Sustained by the Most Holy Eucharist during Mass and Eucharistic Adoration every day, our contemplative union with the Lord permeates every action and every encounter throughout our day. Strengthened by our life together in community through communal sharing and communal prayer, the gifts and talents of every sister help to teach us how to be the zealous missionaries and adorers that God desires for each one of us. In the spirit of total surrender, mind, heart, and soul to God, we continue the legacy of our foundress given to her by God for the Church in Africa, Asia, and North America. We walk with great hope into the future in the footsteps of the Good Shepherd in imitation of Mary's visitation to Elizabeth for the greater glory of God and the salvation of souls.